Okay, guys, today we are going, I'm going to be showing you guys a survey. Not, not one of my, I'm going to show you, you know, show you guys a tutorial on how to make a Z, a Z coordinate for your sprites. So, okay, today, I mean, right now I know you're thinking, how could there possibly be a Z coordinate? But, okay, the Z coordinate is the third dimension, which is width. So, your sprites can now go, will now be able to go backwards and forwards. And, yeah, get very, and basically get very big and very small. So, almost nothing or very large so that it's huge okay so I'm gonna be showing you how to make a program like this so as you can see this is I have some very complex stuff here complex looking stuff here that isn't actually very complex so these are just um they're just um, backwards and forwards, like someone usually would have it. But then this up here and this down here are both, um, they're both um, the X and Y coordinates. So, okay. So. Right here is where the main magic happens in this program. So, okay, right away you'd want to set it to z the x and y coordinates to zero, but then you want to set the z coordinate to zero, which is just a variable that you can make. So then you would have a z, and that's how you would make it. So, but, um, okay. Okay, so right away, it would be um the coordinate um okay. So the z variable uses the size, which is in I think it's in motion or it looks. Yeah, it's in looks. So the size right now is that, but if we I should move this. Um, let's put it over here. That should be good. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, what is happening here is, um, okay, so I'll set it to zero. But, okay, usually, um, Unlike the X and Y coordinates, the size is based off of, like, a percentage. So, 100% would be regular. So, instead of the zero, which is regular for X and Y. So, what I did is added 100 to it. So, that, I mean, yeah. I added 100 to it, so... If you had the Z coordinate to be zero, it would actually be a hundred. So that's like a regular coordinate. And that's basically all it is. You just have to set up all this code. That's not supposed to be there. And voila, you will have this amazing program for yourself to make any kind of games, any kind of games you want. So, okay guys, um, if you like this video, then subscribe and like the video, and yeah. Okay. Um, bye. Wait.